Okay, so welcome to the experimental phase of lab three. Remember, we're in lab three right now. And uh, this is all about charge density and capacitance. So we, we uh, went over how to measure charge density using a proof plane. I have it all set up now to do the spherical capacitor. And I've set the voltage on the spherical capacitor to be 500 volts. Now this is a kilovolt power supply. So you can see right there it says KV. So this particular power supply produces thousands of volts. Luckily, it doesn't produce much current because you can't get a sh you can get a shock, electric shock, but you can't get electrocuted. Okay, D so you, it's like a static shock you'd get walking across the carpeting carpet and then touching somebody. All right. So anyway, right now this is at 500 volts and there's so much charge on there. So I'm now going to take the proof plane. I'm going to zero out the electrometer. Remember this electrometer, it's a very sensitive voltmeter. By the way, it's measuring the amount of voltage that this small amount of charge from the sphere will induce in the Faraday cage. So this is another capacitor. So it's polarizing the capacitor, this Faraday cage, and um, with the charge that I introduce. Okay, so here I'm just gonna, I'll just touch it on top all the time. And I only got two volts. So there's only one significant figure right now. So what I can do is I can change the scale on this thing. So I'm going down to the, three, uh, the 10 volt scale. So I picked up another digit now. And we can go ahead and try it again. All right, so I'm going to touch the top, stick it in, and it says 9.3. Hold on one second here. Woo! Ooh, I just touched the, uh, the capacitor. All right, let me try it again. Okay, 2.1, 2.2 volts. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to up the voltage now to 1,000 volts. It's in kilovolts, so it looks like a decimal. Okay, so that's, that's 1,000 volts right there. I'm going to zero out the, uh, the Faraday cage, get all the charge off the proof plane, and try it again. Okay, this time I got 4.5 volts. Okay, that's at 1,000 volts. And your hypothesis for the experiment would be, what kind of charge am I going to measure as I increase the voltage on the spherical capacitor? So I'm gonna jump up to 2,000 volts now. And again, you always wanna take, um, I always recommend taking eight plus one measurements or 10 measurements because sometimes you make a bad measurement and you can just see from your data that it's a bad measurement. So I'm gonna zero this thing again. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, two, this is two, remember this is uh, uh, 2,000 volts and that's up to 8.3 volts. Okay, so that was 2,000 volts. And we can jump up. By the way, it doesn't matter what value you use. Here I'm using uh, 2.50, 2,500 volts. So I got to zero everything. Make sure there's no charge, no charge on the proof plane. Touch the top here, stick it in. And I got, ooh, I went off scale. So that just went to 9.9 .9 and then started blinking. So I need to go to the next scale. And that's a 30 volt scale. And uh, I'll make the measurement one more time. And that was a bad measurement. All right, so that says eight volts. All right, actually it stopped at 10, 10 volts right there. All right, so let me up, up it a little bit more. This time I'm gonna jump to about uh, 4,000. Okay, so that's 4,000 volts, and I'm zeroing everything out. I can uh, touch that in my hand right there. Zero, everything zeroed, and see what I get. And that's 12 volts. So if that was your hypothesis that it would increase, it's uh, supporting that. Now I can go all the way, pin the meter, six thousand. it goes up to 6,000. and I got 18 volts. Okay, so that's that experiment. That's the spherical capacitor, so you're gonna plot that data and see what you get. Now remember, before you plot the data, you have to determine the charge on the sphere, so you have to multiply by the area of the proof plane, 
Okay, to get this, uh, I'm sorry. So you want to get Q sphere, so you got to take the Q on the proof plane, which is voltage times capacitance. Voltage times capacitance. And this is the voltage from the Faraday cage. Okay, this is not the voltage from the kilovolt power supply. It's the voltage from the electrometer when we introduce the proof plane into the cage. So that charge is V times C. C is like 0 0.150 nanocoulombs, uh, nan nanofarads. Okay, times voltage is charge in nanocoulombs divided by the area of the proof plane, and then you have to move, move this guy over there and multiply by the area of the sphere. And the radius of the sphere is 0 0.0650 meters, 6.5 centimeter uh, radius. But you'll get that data separately when I send you the files. Okay, so that's that experiment. So we're going to stop right there, and then we're going to do the parallel plate capacitor lab.